Right now, the search continues to find a pair of firefighters missing at sea. The two left from Port Canaveral Friday on a fishing trip and never returned. But this morning, their families are not giving up hope that the pair will be found alive. Mark Lehman joins us live from Port Canaveral. And Mark, firefighters from as far away as Jacksonville are helping with this search. Yeah, and those firefighters holding a special bond with one of the missing boaters, working side by side with him every day. In all, more than 50 firefighters have joined the Coast Guard in their search, and that's something that's been underway ever since the two went missing from this boat ramp on Friday. Our crews have been out looking, trying to find their brother. Firefighters from Station 31 in Jacksonville helping in the search for one of their own. Brian McClooney has been missing at sea since Friday, along with his friend Justin Walker, a firefighter from Virginia. Our people are struggling with this, trying to, you know, uh, they want to help. The Coast Guard says the two men left for a fishing trip from Port Canaveral, but never returned. Since then, more than 20,000 square miles have been searched with no sign of the boaters or their vessel. A mechanical issue on the boat. Um, I'm guessing it's you know, mechanical, electrical. They're just sitting there floating with no systems working right now, waiting to be picked up, drifting. Stephanie McClooney says she's remaining optimistic that her husband is still out there awaiting rescue. I'm highly, highly confident that he will survive. That hope bringing dozens to the beach over the weekend, praying for the two to be found safe. I have an army behind me. I have an army that is just holding me and bathing me in prayer. And the Coast Guard says they have been searching overnight and will continue their efforts this morning. Now, on Sunday, there was a report of a boat spotted off the coast of Jacksonville, but the Coast Guard said uh, that was debris not related to the missing boaters. For now, reporting live in Port Canaveral, Mark Lehman getting results, News 6.